Hi, I'm Dolly Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show how to make this cake yarn scarf. To do this, I'm using one ball of Lion Brands Mandala yarn and a size H hook. To begin, chain 37. Skip the first chain and make one single crochet in each stitch across. I'm using the back loops on the chain since the entire scarf will be done in the back loops. Once completed, chain one and turn your work. Make one single crochet in each stitch across using the back loops only. I like these row counters to help me keep track of my rows. It even fits nicely on a crochet hook. Next, it's important to measure your work. Your scarf should be about 12 inches wide right now. Gauge is also important. Gauge is usually the number of stitches across within four inches and the number of rows per four inches. The gauge for this scarf is 12 stitches by 14 rows. To get this pattern's gauge, you might need to switch to a different crochet hook. If you aren't using a row counter, you can mark off 20 rows with paper clips. This way, it's easier to quickly count. Continue crocheting rows until you are at 30 inches, which is about 105 rows. Let's talk about ending the work. To weave an end securely, first take a couple of small stitches like this. Then, at the very last stitch, it's important to pierce the center of the yarn with your needle and then pull it through. That helps give a very secure finish. For sewing, you want to avoid bumps and lumps in your seams. To do this, I like to sew on a flat surface and put the top of a bin lid underneath where I'm sewing. To sew, I go under and then through. Then I move to the next side. Under and through. Move to the next side. Under and through. Once completed, weave in the ends securely. And that's how I make my cake yarn scarf. <laughs>